Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. We are coming at you with a full case break of 2018 Panini Luminance Football. Pick your team number six. This is our last case from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for, uh, for filling this one up. Appreciate it. Break six on a Saturday night. Another Saturday night and I... Oh, Eric with that last bot mojo and some Raider Joe mojo as well. So good luck to him. Uh, after this, we will be doing a one-box break of 16-17 Spectra Basketball. And after that, I don't know what we're going to do after that. But we will have another hour and a half or so to break. I see. We, can, we can take it easy and do, do a lot of fun one-box breaks to close out the night if you want to. Kind of clean up the side a little bit, make way for the uh, for the new releases that are coming out on Wednesday and uh, so we got all those right there. Wednesday and Friday. All right, everyone. Oh no! Knocking all these over. Good luck, everybody. In case you don't remember. That's where we're, we're, we are unwrapping an array of stunning designs featuring high action photographs of the biggest stars in the NFL. Folks, get hyped. Look for on card autographs and draft day signatures. Ooh. Three autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. Love it. This stuff actually has been really nice. Uh, next week we have there's a couple tops products coming out and then Panini has uh, has Donner's Optic Football coming out on Wednesday I believe I think that's still on the docket I think Encased Basketball might be coming out too by Panini but that might be moved or maybe Spectra Basketball moved I think one of, one of those things got moved around to July but there'll be some fun stuff on JaspiesHobbyland.com all right so I'm gonna breeze through these base cards. We're going to stop on stuff like Bob Lilly, Vintage Relic, for the Cowboys. That'll go to Antonio with the boys. Got Marshawn Lynch from our Raiders. 40 out of 99. We'll top load all of these before they get shipped out. And there's nice Heinz Ward. Four out of five Heinz Ward. For a steel curtain, Michael Gallucci. It's a train whistle out of the first box. All aboard! Whoop whoop! That's a catch right there too. Definitely a catch. Unlike some people, unlike some Steelers we know, Michael Gallucci. Unlike some Steelers that don't catch the ball and let it hit the ground first. In that photograph, definitely a catch. We've got 13 out of 25, three-color patch and autograph. Uh, Joe Mixon for the Bengals. That'll be Jerry Bennington. Tavarius McFadden out of 75. <laughs> no, it had just had happened. I wasn't even. I wasn't even alive for it. <laughs> Seal Kearns is like, you got to let that go, man. Never. Long memories for us long-suffering Raiders fans. Um, that'll go to the Niners. And that'll be for Adam Kupperman. One day, one day a Zapruder-style film will come out. Showing it hit the ground. Um, you got a Bob uh, Bob Lilly relic, Antonio. All right, X line Chiefs guy says if it was against the Raiders, it was definitely a catch. All the footage has been destroyed. That doesn't help help me feel better about that shield curtain. Raiders fans by nature are are paranoid. This this is this this stems from the the old Al Davis days, 
When the league was against him, it was us against them. There's my boy Derek Carr, Jumbo Relic, for Eric Wyant with the Raiders. Raiders. I feel like I'm missing some. I'm not. Okay. Ooh, this is out of five. One out of five Arden Key for my Raiders. And out of fives and under are train whistles. Nice. I wonder if he'll be the the key to the Raiders' defensive improvement. Eric, all aboard! Whoop, whoop! There you go. And we've got a draft day auto, Mike White. And Mike White, I haven't memorized where all these guys go. Mike White goes to the Cowboys. Go to Dallas. And out of 10, 6 out of 10, carry on Johnson. Carry on my wayward son. Carry on my wayward son. This will go to the Detroit Lions. Yeah, I'm losing it a little bit. So what you get sometimes. Saturday night, go go nuts. 38 out of 299, Robert Foster. Robert Foster goes to the Buffalo Bills. Robert Robert Frost. Froster, maybe. Two roads diversion a wood. Did he take the one less traveled? Perhaps. Maybe. All right. Got another box in the books. Good luck, everyone. It's the best part, G-Lo. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. The rookies should have their pro uniforms on in Elite next week, so my days of having to look them up should be over. Good. I don't actually memorize everybody until, like, midseason. It takes me It takes me a little bit. This is still preseason for me. By midseason, I can, we can do this break again, and I wouldn't even have to look it up. By week, week five maybe, week four, maybe a little bit earlier. All right, we've got for the Chiefs, sweet Kareems are made of these. Goes to the X line and his Chiefs. Oh well, why don't we? Actually, I want to have this screen up right here. Speaking of the Chiefs, Chiefs win total, eight and a half. What do you think, Josh? Josh is a Chiefs fan. Over or under eight and a half? Let's see what he thinks. Out of 99, Malik Jefferson for the Bengals. At least that's what that's what Vegas had. Oh, Mason Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer for Seal Curtain. That's what Vegas had at the end of April. Those lines may have changed a little bit. That's a tough one, I think. Mason Rudolph, Steel Curtain, and the Steelers. The guy that Big Ben is not going to help, allegedly. Always over, says the X line. All depends on if we can stop anybody. So defense might be the issue. Uh, what about for the Steelers? Steelers, as of late April, according to Vegas, their win total 10.5, Steel Curtain. What do you think? Mason Rudolph to Juju Smith-Schuster. That's a good combo. 
Anthony Miller out of 225. I think he is a bear. A tiger turned into a bear, I think. He did. That goes to Shy Town. That'll be for TC with the Bears. Gilo says he's a Chiefs fan. And he doesn't think their defense is getting enough credit at the moment. And he thinks they're a nine win team next year, so just half game over what Vegas thinks. Alan Lazard. Out of 249, Alan Lazard rising from the dead. Like Lazarus, get it? Lazard for the Jaguars. That'll be for Paul Harris and Jacksonville. Seal Curtain says over. He's like, hey, what, what did you expect me to say? Now, I'm interested in counter-arguments from, from those of you who are not fans of those teams. Like, so, g -Lo and the X-Line, you know, Chiefs, but, but um, you know, are they, are they crazy? Are they delusional? Or are they spot on? Is Steel Curtain crazy? I don't know. One, one day... They're, they're going to not have, like, Antonio Bell. Antonio Bell. Yeah, that's basically what I was going to say. Antonio Brown and and uh, Le'Veon Bell. One day, they're not going to have Antonio Bell on that team. That duo. Then what happens? What if Big Ben looks old all of a sudden? Uh, out of 10, Alex Collins for the Baltimore Ravens, who actually kind of feel like J-Mac with the Purple Birds. Kind of revived his career a little bit out there in Baltimore. Much to the chagrin of Seahawks fans who were like, how come he couldn't do that in Seattle? Fred Taylor for the Jaguars. Nice vintage relic. Uh, Seal Current says, we don't speak of those times ahead. Uh, that is forbidden in that... In that part of the country. All right, and we've got 11 out of 25, Christian Kirk. And he is a Cardinal. That goes to TC. How does everyone feel about... Uh, Here's a here here's a hot topic right here. How does everyone feel about the Patriots? Patriots win total as of late April, and that and again that line might have changed, but the Patriots win total as of late April was uh ten and a half, I think. Was eleven. There's Geno Atkins for the Cincinnati Bengals. That's another one for Jerry Bennington. Is this I mean, is this the year where where the Patriots, like where Tom Brady finally looks old? Where all the avocado ice cream in the world can't keep him young. 50 out of 99, Ronnie Harrison. Ronnie Harrison going to the Jaguars. And that'll be one for Paul Harris. Paul Harris with Harrison. I feel you, X-Line. That's exactly how I feel. X-Line's like, Pats should stink this year, but man, it's hard to bet against Brady, right? Brady, see, we have our we have our cyborg list, right? Yarmir Yager, cyborg. Bartolo Colon, cyborg. Tom Brady might be a cyborg. If Tom, if Tom Brady has another great season this year, you know, Patriots march their way into the AFC Championship or something, Tom Brady's got to be a cyborg. Has to be. Maybe Belichick knows this. Maybe Belichick is being held hostage by cyborgs. You know, maybe Belichick was like, hey, 
we got to trade Tom Brady to the Niners. We got to keep Jimmy Garoppolo organic, non-cyborg. All right, we got Joe Mixon. Jumbo Relic for the Bengals, Jerry. What about my Raiders picking up uh, Martavis Bryant from your Steelers and suspended again? I mean, what did the I, what did what did the I don't even remember what the Raiders gave up for him. I guess it was worth a flyer. Maybe maybe see if he maybe hope that he doesn't that he doesn't he stops smoking the reefer. Out of out of two twenty five, the hippie lettuce. The Mary Jane, the Wacky Weed, the Sticky Icky, the Kind. Um, that's Jarrell Freeman. Royce Freeman goes to the Broncos. Go Oppo Joe Mojo. I mean. Whatever the Raiders gave up, I don't think it was very much, from what I understand. So I think it was enough. Uh, it was enough for for the Raiders to take a flyer. Sixty-five, a couple of draft picks, a fourth rounder. Interesting. Some of John Gruden's. I mean, it's Raiders fans earmuffs. It's kind of sacrilege to question John Gruden's motives as a as a Raiders fan, but I think some I think some fans, not me, but some fans, have kind of raised eyebrows on some of the offseason moves that he's made. Not that anything has been shockingly bad. Minka Vince Patrick goes to the Miami Dolphins, by the way. Not that any of those moves have been bad. Adam Kupperman with the Dolphins, but. You know, <laughs> like, couldn't that draft pick be better used elsewhere than Martavis Bryant, who clearly has problems? 26. I mean, did they even talk to Martavis Bryant before picking him up? Or did they just call him on the phone and say, hey, you're not smoking weed anymore, right? And Martavis is like, nope. And <laughs> Reggie McKenzie for the Raiders is like, okay, we're trading for you. And then Martavis Bryant jumps up and clicks his heels like a like a leprechaun and goes, "Haha, back to smoking weed." Malik Jefferson goes to the Bengals. Jerry Bennington with the Bengals. Bengals having a nice break. So, no, yeah, I mean we got Jordy Nelson. We got we still have Amari Cooper, you know. So, I'm not worried about that. Because I don't, I don't, I don't think Martavis Bryant was ever really counted on as like a key part of the team or anything like that. But still, I mean, fourth round pick is a fourth round pick. You know, that's that's a roster spot that could have been for someone else who could have contributed in a different way, at least something, as opposed to zero for Martavis Bryant. It's like. You got the rest of your career, if you're listening, Mark Davis, you got the rest of your career to smoke as much weed as you want to. I would, listen, I don't, that's, that's your, that's your, that's your choice. But, I mean, an NFL paycheck's pretty nice. <laughs> like, cash that check, Mark Davis, then, then smoke as much as you want to. I don't care. That's your life. Two out of ten, Riley Ferguson for the Buccaneers. Wait, who's the Buccaneers backup? TJ? TJ with the Buccaneers. James Winston's going to be suspended for a minute or two. Does Riley Ferguson get a shot? Nice Earl Thomas. Out of 25. Nice patch for the Hawks. That's for John H. Out of 99 for the Chargers, Derwin James. And Saquon Barkley, autograph. 29 out of 99. <coughs> that goes to the New York Football Giants and Kevin Smith. Nice. New 
New York Football Giants. That is strong. Joe Green, not not that mean. Just on the field. And we've got 24 out of 75, Logan Woodside. What side? Woodside. Strong side. Woodside. Bengals side. That goes to Jerry Bennington. Yes, that is true, Michael. Steel Curtain's like, you guys got to beef up your own line. Playing the Broncos twice. Well, we did, I think our first round pick was an offensive tackle, I think. There's Cameron Petaway, 107 out of 249. Out of UCLA, which was another eyebrow-raising pick. And I was like, that's, that's a little high, isn't it? But if he works out, I mean, I think the Raiders have kind of addressed that issue. Uh, Cameron Pedway is for the Vikings. TC with Minnesota. Sorry, hit the mic. All right, next box. Yeah, but I don't like the idea of seeing, of seeing Chubb and Von Miller at the front there, I I worry for Derek Carr's health and safety. Not only Derek Carr, but like any of the running backs. I think it's going to be a transitional year for the Raiders. Raiders win total late April, according to – is eight. It's tough. I don't know if I'd even bet that. I think it might be right around there. Probably seven or eight wins for the Raiders. I think it'll be a transitional year. It's going to be a couple transitional years, which is going to be sort of frustrating for the Raiders because I think they can move to Vegas as early as um, – there's Joe Mixon – as early as uh, 2019, the beginning of the 2019 season. They could play at the UNLV football stadium. For, for a season and then move into the new stadium in 2020. There's Andre Reed for the Bills. That's for Nicholas. So, and that's kind of that's kind of tough. There's six out of 25. That's Nick Chubb. So you're moving an entire franchise. You have a new coach. A lot, of, a lot of different things happening. That's Browns, right? Yeah, Cleveland Browns with the Nick Chubb. And that goes to Adam Kupperman. My hot take on the Browns, of course, is that they're going to win eight games. I believe that. 13 out of 25, Deonta Foreman. Spotlight autograph for the Texans. That'll be for Sam. There you go, Sam. It's on a slightly thicker card sock, too. Trey Quinn out of 249. Trey Quinn goes to the Redskins. That'll be for Daniel Pelletier. Next box. We've got five boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. That's my hot take, Steel Curtain. I'm, I'm going to drop a hot pepper emoji into the chat right now. Eight wins. Vegas has Vegas has the Browns win total at five and a half. Easy on the over. Hot take. Easy on the over. I 
I mean, we're talking about... Let's listen to this. Jarvis Landry on one side. Josh Gordon on the other side. You got your third and fourth receivers. Ricardo Lewis, Corey Coleman, if healthy, could produce. David Yoku, nice pass-catching tight end. You got Tyrod Taylor, clear upgrade at quarterback. Nick Chubb, Duke Johnson, Carlos Hyde in the backfield. What are you talking about? There you go. They've got a great defense. Don't forget about Emmanuel Ogba. We got Miles Garrett, Julius Peppers in the back. My boy TJ Carey. TJ Carey's not that great, but you got Julius Peppers in the back. Jumbo Relic, my homies, Patrick Mahomes. And, well, I need more top loaders too. And last year, looked it up, including against your Steelers, Steel Curtain, the, uh, the Browns were had a number of games, a handful of games, where they were within a touchdown. They were under a touchdown. Lost by under a touchdown. Now you're telling me, you're telling me that, uh, did I say Julius Peppers? And I, I meant Jabril, whoever that strong safety is from Michigan. Jabril Peppers. Not Julius. <laughs> Julius Peppers not playing strong safety for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, there's Jerome Baker for the Dolphins out of 25. And Deshaun Hamilton from Penn State. So with all that, I'm telling you, <laughs> Seal Kern's like, it's the Browns, Joe. They could have all the talent in the world, and they would still screw it up. Would they? Maybe. I don't know. But I believe. I think things are turning around in Cleveland. No more LeBron. The team will be the team will be behind uh the team will be behind um the uh, the the Browns. This one goes to the Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo for Kevin Smith. How many games did they win last year? Well, against the spread, excellent. <laughs> what I'm saying, that's not the point, Josh. Excellent. The point is that they could have won five or six games last year with a team that bad. Let me grab more top loaders. That's the point, Josh. That's, they did lose Joe Thomas. That was a big loss for their offensive line. But Tyrod Taylor, he's, he's mobile, right? Agile. Oh, you guys just wait. You wait. You wait until you wait until the Browns win eight games. And <laughs> they remember they were the Browns. So they lost them all. Yeah, I think there might have, might have been some last minute plays where they. All right, there's Carry on Johnson. I. We just looked him up. I don't. I don't remember where Carry On My Wayward Son goes. Uh, the Lions. That'll go to Detroit. That'll be for Kevin Smith. It's a lot of points. Six hundred points. If we get more than, if we get additional points cards, they'll be collected together as one lot, randomized to one person. Per tradition. Tyrod got benched for Nathan Peterman. Enough said. No, that, that's just because the the Bills coaching staff were just dumbs. Seal curtain. I don't know. They wanted to prove a point or something. I don't know. That was stupid. They shouldn't have benched him. Tyrod Taylor took him to the playoffs. Playoffs? You know, there have been instances... Where where teams have made that turnaround, where they've lost, maybe only won like a few games the season before, and have turned it around, and have won their division or won, had a winning records. I think there was an old Chiefs team that did that. An old Colts team did that too. So it's not impossible for that kind, of, especially with with the parity of the National Football League. There's Ronnie Lott, vintage relic for the Niners, Adam Kupperman. So Rich is saying they have not won eight games since 2007. They're due. Due. 
That's what you're telling me, Rich. They're due for a progression to the mean. There's Minka Fitzpatrick for the Dolphins, 99, and Michael Gallup, who I believe is a Cowboy. Let me double check. Yes. Draft Day Autograph, which are all on card, which are, look very nice. That goes to... I think Antonio has a Cowboy. Yeah, Antonio with the Cowboys. And there's Alex Collins for the Purple Birds at a 125 for J Mac. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, they're due, overdue even. Ah, nice. Andrew K's not crazy. These points will be added to that right there. Andrew K's not crazy. He's like, I just signed on. He agrees with me, hundred percent even. I mean, here, here, I'm going to flip screens for just a second. Look at this for a second. Right? Josh, remember what Josh Gordon used to do? Remember what Josh Gordon used to do? Jarvis Landry is great. No. I'm just, just saying. Yeah, exactly. Andrew K is like Tyrod, totally serviceable until Baker is ready. And Yoku, Gordon, <laughs> Hyde, Nick Chubb, Landry. Andrew K, let's talk about their defense, right? Jabril Peppers, strong safety, Miles Garrett, Ogba up front too. They've got it. They can, they can get some defense going. If the offense can stay on the field, that'll give the defense the proper rest they need. I'm, I'm, I don't know if they'll actually win eight games, but I'm definitely taking the over on that win total. Michael Irvin, Cowboys. Uh, we all do. We, we know what Josh Gordon did. He worked. He worked his way back to be to be a functioning member of their Saquon Barkley out of ninety nine to be a, a National Football League player. And look at this draft day auto, Sam Darnold, Oppo Joe Mojo for the Jets, Adam Kupperman, because he's he's a he's a USC guy. I'm a UCLA. I didn't go to UCLA. I went to UC San Diego, but <laughs> UC San Diego. They're like, eh, we don't need a Division One football program. We didn't even have a football program, so I had to go with UCLA. This is the savior for Adam Kupperman's Jets. Jamal Moore. He he was he was averaging over thirteen yards after the catch. In his four games last season, X line, Josh Gordon. He's got some good yak. Some good yak going on. Yards after catch. Sleeper pick for fantasy teams, I think. I, I put Josh Gordon as my in my flex spot. Green Bay with that one. Kevin Smith with the Packers. He's right there. He heard you talking about him, X-Line. His ears were burning. He's like, you talking about me? Out of 99, Akram Wadley. Titans. Hey, well, I mean, depends on what kind of, of, of... You know, not if you get a good... Not if you get a good Indica, X-Line. That... that, that Keeps the mind sharp-ish. <laughs> Unlike that sleepy, sleepy sativa, or is it the other way around? I don't really do any of that, so I don't, I don't really know. Uh, look at that! Look, look how hard he's working. It's like uh, that's a catch for Josh Xline. That's a catch. 
Oh, no, even better. 18.6 yards per reception. Looks good. Other one, so Antonio knows. Yeah, the other way. That's what my friends say anyway. I don't know. It's, it's legal here. Although, there's only certain cities where you can you have, you have to drive all the way to Santa Ana. Who wants to drive out to... For those of you who are in California, who wants to drive out to Santa Ana? Not worth it. Call me old-fashioned, but I'm, o I'm okay with... With... With, uh... With, like, a nice whiskey. <laughs> Whatever happened to that? Now the kids are all into all these... Prescription drive. That's an, it's a big issue. I say, just go back to booze like we like we used to do, like we used to do. There's Tannehill. How do the Dolphins do with Tannehill back? Dolphins win total six. Earl Campbell. Yeah, Jack Lines. I'm too old for that stuff. Back in my youth, sure. But he's a dad now. He's he's just he's got to take it easy. You got to worry about. I mean, you gotta worry about the kids these days. X line, who knows what they're getting into? This is my this is my get off my lawn moment. Who knows what the kids are getting into these days? We live in a world where Jay Ajayi is a Super Bowl champion. Think about that. Um, out of ten, <laughs> like cast off by the Dolphins, and then Super Bowl champ. That goes to John H. and the Fly Eagles Fly. There's Nick Chubb for the eight-win Browns. The division-winning Browns. Should I just double down on it? <laughs> Steel Kearns, I keep making picks like that, and I look forward to be beating you in the weekly pick -em. Yeah, folks, look forward to the weekly pick -em league later this year. And, I'll, and just like I've been doing with baseball, we'll also have my weekly football picks as well. Hey, I finished top... Actually, you joined the you joined the group late, I think, right, Michael? But you, I think you were doing pretty well in the last parts of the season. We'll see. We'll see if Rick Hunt can uh, can um, defend his defend his title. Uh, Two forty nine. Deron Payne, the House of Payne, the House of Deron Payne, Washington. So Daniel with that one. <laughs> Gilo. Well, no, this is a much better option. The other Marcus Allen. No, not that one. 36 out of 299. You guys remember that Michael Jordan commercial? Remember that Michael Jordan commercial where um where, like, at the airport, the guy would be holding a Michael Jordan sign, but then this, like, kind of old, fat, white guy would come out, and then they'd be like, oh. Like, the pizza guy would come, and he's had Michael Jordan on the thing, and then he, and he opens the door, and it's just that dude, and he goes, oh. I wonder if that happens to Marcus Allen. Can he get, like, dinner reservations somewhere? Like, does he go to, like, reserve a table at a steakhouse or something? And he's like, yeah, uh, table for four, Marcus Allen. And they're like, okay, sure, dude. Can he get it? Can he get into like a ribs place in Kansas City or a restaurant in Oakland or San Francisco? I'd be like, sure, dude. We don't have. We're too busy for. We're too busy for those crank calls. I know. I, sh I should have known. Seal curtain. I looked it up and I was like, oh man, Michael's gonna be disappointed. <laughs> Look at this. I'm even sleeving up this base card for Josh Gordon. Eight wins. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. I don't know why this Jerome Baker was sitting out here, but there he is. All right, last box. Thanks, everybody, for hanging, for chatting, for breaking. Um, we've got a one-box break of uh, Spectra Basketball coming up directly after this. 
I see I don't see any other orders coming in. Oh, okay. Well, for the record, let the record reflect. Do we need, I need a court reporter here? Let a, let the record reflect that on June 20 on Saturday, June 23rd in the year of our Lord 2018 at 9:25 p.m. Pacific, let the record reflect that the Josh X line has said the X line has said he Josh he Josh Gordon won't even play eight games. Mark it, he says. So marked. So marked, so noted. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. We like to have fun here, folks. Marcus Mariota, Jumbo Relic. <laughs> Waste of a good top loader, says Steel Curtain. No, Cleveland, Adam Kupperman appreciates it, right, Adam? Adam's watching this video thinking, I should have been in this conversation. He's watching the video Sunday morning. He's just like, he's like, Joe, eight wins. <laughs> Hey, Mason Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, 14 out of 25. This does deserve a top loader. Wow, you would put minus 110 for under eight games played? So Josh Gordon, games played, eight. So the under would be minus 110. What would you put the over at? Plus 120? I'd take that. Over over eight plus one twenty. If you give me plus money on that, DJ Shark, DJ Left Shark, my favorite DJ. Going to the Jaguars. That'll be for Paul Harris. There's Derwin James out of two forty nine Charger, I believe. Out of 249. He is a bolt. That's not a lightning bolt. Is that a lightning bolt? That's a light. I can draw a lightning bolt. I can do this. That was a terrible lightning bolt. If that gets misshipped, Adam Kupperman, I'll take full blame for that. <laughs> They'll look it up. The shipping team will look it up. Out of 299, Marcus Baugh. Bo? Baugh? Is that Sammy's grandson? That goes to my Raiders. <laughs> yeah, the X line's like, hey, over eight. On Josh Gordon games played on the plus one twenty sounds good, but he's he's X line saying that's a that's a square bet, Joe, because it's Josh effing Gordon. <laughs> so I guess yeah, who the f knows? F it. All right, all right, mfers. Let's see who gets this uh, seven hundred and fifty points right here. I like adding those points together. They do kind of add up, and it's pretty nice. All right, so good chat. This is how, we like to have fun here, folks. So join our if you're watching the replay. This is the kind of fun we have. We like to have spirited discussions about sports and other random stuff in a clean, family-friendly environment. All right, Jersey and Auto. So I'm saying I should look at his career. He's played ten games the last four seasons combined. Well, last four seasons, he was you know the dube. Two out of three. Five times. I called it the doob. Uh, five times. One. Name on top gets the points. Two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, that's a lot of points. 750 points goes to Adam Copperman. So there you go, Adam. Thanks, everybody. So all these points coming your way. Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland. Joe for JoshGordonApologist.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.